right, time for a Zack game. I will be going against a Elise here, which should not be a problem, really. I mean, it's a little bit scary for the early game, because my champ's very weak early on, and her champ definitely isn't. So we do have to keep that in mind. But when I get some scaling going, there should be no problems at all. So yeah, we're against our Blitz here, so it, it could do any kind of invade, really. I'm gonna back here at 50 seconds and go for the top. I wanna start on top side here, because I'm pretty sure the Elise is gonna start both side and clear towards top. Most players do, especially like the lower range. I mean, anything below like Diamond 2, honestly, most players just start mindlessly both side anyway. So yeah, there is that. I would hope that I would get a leash from my Darius. It uh, might not appear to be the case. Okay, he is moving. Just another day on the job. All right, good. We're just gonna have to get through a full clear. I will not be doing this full clear like perfectly, perfectly. You can definitely practice this clear a lot. This has a lot of intricacies to it, and uh, it will be very rewarding to learn this clear. You can save a lot of time, but I'm just gonna do it like most of you probably would do it at least initially. If you want to get into Zach, if you want to put more time into him, I would recommend that. That's definitely not a bad thing to uh, do, really. I just needed to make sure that I wasn't gonna bleed stack that out, so I just waited a little bit. Go. Try to pick up your blobs when your W is on cooldown, this way you get a cooldown back from it. Try to do that as much as possible, really. There we go. Don't know where Elise is currently. There's a pretty high chance if I was the Elise right here that I would look for like an early bot gank in this situation. I would n I would not put that past her. Because that positioning right there from the from my team right here is a really easy gank target, right? I would 100% look for something. Right, let's just get in range. Pick up the blobs whilst your W is on cooldown. That's really the main thing you have to remember if you're just doing a basic version of this clear. Also another thing, by the way, 70% um, of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you are one of those people, consider subscribing, checking if you're subscribed, and uh, yeah. And then here we just double camp this one, so we just pick up the Gromp, smash it into the blue buff here, and be a bit careful that you don't reset them here. Your E can misposition them, if you place your E uh, like incorrectly and they stand in a bad spot, you will reset them. But yeah, generally finishing at like 3.30 uh, for like a non-perfect setup is per or like it's perfectly fine. Like right there about a 3.30 full clear finish. That is okay. You don't really have to worry about anything. If you can manage that time, that's okay. That's good enough for now. I will still highly recommend you to uh, learn the rest of your clear better. But it will be good enough for now. No way. I'm gonna have to flash and use the minion here to pull the Blitzcrank back. That's not really anything happening there. She did get the top gank off, which is kind of sad though. Uh, nothing I can really do, sadly. I don't really have great follow-up with my laners right there, so I guess it's it kind of whatever. They also saw me barely because I just don't have level 5 range yet. Your E-range increases with levels. So the more levels you get into it, the, the easier ganks become, the more range you're going to have. So, yeah. There's nothing I can quite do here. I guess I'll just recall. I can wait a little bit here to see if I can might be able to get an E off when they walk up next. But... I'm just going to recall. There's nothing I can do. I waited, uh, I waited like, long enough. She didn't hit, like, an, any pullback or something, so this is what it is. She's gonna get CDR boots right now. And we move out of base again. I tried my best to get a bot lane gank off there, but it wasn't really going to happen. 
might kill her here. Maybe. I think Blitz dies, but at least it's definitely pulled, yeah. So hopefully they don't die to Elise. That's all I ask for at this point. I knew Elise was going to be bolt. I think I pinged, right? Yeah, I did. My team is at least alive. We take those. I like taking uh, CDR boots first, by the way. This gives you like immense CDR, which gives you just way more clear speed. It's actually like faster than picking Sunfire because of that gonna do another calm clear here like even if you don't get anything going in the early game your champion skills really well so you're just gonna have to kind of stall out and hold on for a little bit that's really all it is oh big darius got solo kills nice nice i'm actually gonna smite here oh my god i'm so close to level five it's unbelievable let's see here as well to do there blitz was mid if blitz wouldn't have been there that could have been a good play like we probably would have won the 2v2 but uh yeah blitz was there so it is what it is gonna keep consistent for a while again early game is your weak stage it's not bad not a big deal if you don't get anything going for now it is okay Quickly do Gromp here. I want to do this bot scuttle as well. Just do Gromp bot scuttle. Like trying to hit level 6 here basically. There we go. Time to do some bot scuttle. I could look for a bot gank as well. Now I'm starting to get some levels which is good. Just gonna auto attack this once and kite it down. Place the control ward right there. I, they want to Baron or sorry, Dragon now. Oh god, I'm scared. This is actually kind of scary. I will do it, but I just smited Scuttle, and right a second at the, after I smited Scuttle, they wanted to go for it. Alright, we take those, that's fine. At least it's bolt lane here, for sure. At least it's bolt. Oh, there she is. I could wait here. I don't really have anything to lose at the minute. Just another day on the job. Probably gonna go for a red buff, I would assume. I don't really reach any ganks. I think I'm just gonna back. I'm gonna back here for sure. I can't stick around for that long. Need to move out to my top side again. I waited some time to maybe see if something was going to go on, but like their enemy bot lane is playing very passive. Game is overall very passive, I'm not going to lie. Like we're 0 0 0, and like only three kills have dropped in like eight and a half minutes. Everybody's a critic. So, you know, it's fine. Maybe look for a top gank here potentially. Oh god. Darius is not paying much attention, is he? I think a lot of times that the least was going to show up, but... Just need you to... Yeah, exactly that. Dude, what are you running? Oh, okay, I'm dead here, aren't I? Need to hit this into that. LeBlanc's missing. Oh no, LeBlanc's not missing. Okay, that's a Jinx rocket though. Jesus Christ, man, Darius literally just... Whew, he just left that. He could have just walked up and done one more auto attack and the play would have been super clean. But we take those anyway. It's fine. It's a very clutch fight. Very close. And what I'm doing there is I'm just using my Q and then auto attacking a minion that's close to me so I can pull them back into the play, right? That's very important for CC purposes. 
which essentially means I got both those kills because of that specific reason. If I didn't do that mechanic, it would not have been possible. Now, my entire jungle is back up, so we're definitely going to look for something here. Oh god, they're going to die here. I think LeBlanc's probably bot lane as well. Bot lane, please walk away. It's a little bit risky at the moment. Gotta finish this. I'm actually gonna E straight over this wall here and go towards the scuttle faster. I wanna make sure I get this scuttle as well. Trying to keep things consistent at the moment. Picking up whatever farm I can. We're looking stronger and stronger here as well. Unfortunately, this is warded. So I'm just gonna go and move for my Grump again. I think I may reset the Grump with that move. Okay, we're good. Oh, come on, team. That is that is honestly just straight up griefing. Like right there, we, they knew for a fact that they were bot lane. There is no reason to stay. I guess I should have stuck around maybe, but like it doesn't make any sense because there's no way my bot lane should die to something like that. If they go for a turret plate here, that could be bit, pretty big actually. I will walk up to see if they do it. They do it. go beautiful they greeted for the third plate so it's just super free at that point there's just really nothing they can do that was not smart actually like kind of need a little bit of gold it would be pretty massive if i can pick up like a little bit for this 150 I can share like a third plate maybe i would have loved to get the cannon there sunfire is quite a big buy so i really want to make sure i get that right now if i can that's good. I got it. I'll sell my potion for this. Big buy on Sunfire right here. I'm gonna just do this, walk out of base and run straight to Dragon again. I could walk towards my top side right now, but... I'm very strong. Got Sunfire stacked up. I don't know if I can make this. Please don't die, Kaisa. Good juke. Good sidestep right there. This will be fine. It should be easily, easily doable. I still have passive. It's fine. I tanked a little bit more, like a couple extra turret shots there, just to see if they would be able to kill the Elise. Uh, I would use my passive for that, but that would be completely okay with me. Because, I mean, you gotta use your passive if you want to make a play, right? Basically. I do not compl- like... Oh god. We need Ari to move right now. She's quite literally hard trolling. Uh, the fact that she's AFKing mid here when we're doing dragon like that's really not that good for us, especially since LeBlanc was there. Could be a potential bit scary. A big, pick that up. I've got some camps to clear right now. Like, I absolutely have to go clear some camps. I cannot leave everything up. Right, right there, going straight bolt, or straight towards the dragon was definitely the correct play because of the plays that are going to happen in that situation, but I have to make sure that I uh, keep a tempo in my camps. We're looking very, very good right now. Just slowly, but like very consistently at the same time, just scaling up in this game. Zach's going to become an absolute monster anyway in the mid to late game. Like you're going to easily be able to solo carry a ton of team fights. So you really, have to do you really don't have to worry about it too much. Clear speed's really fast now as well. I want to try to hit level 11 here. I don't think I hit it actually off Krugs. Should be pretty close, but... 
Varys is going for the invade threats, so I like to see it. I will run mid instead of going for my crocs right now, since this play is uh, fairly aggressive and I want to be here to see potentially back them up. I didn't want to go too aggressive with my positioning there, because, I mean, we could definitely have a numbers disadvantage. Okay, sure. I will be down to go for Rift Herald if that's what they want. Big. Just tanking. I'm just tanking for my team as much as possible. Trying to stand in the best position possible to tank for my team. Uh, not possible. Unfortunately, my team kind of just left the situation. I knew the Jinx was probably going to walk down there. So I actually kind of wanted to cut her off. But that was, actually, that was just not going to happen. I have 8 out of 10 kill participations, which is really good. Not a very high kill game, which happens sometimes. Definitely not bad for Zack though. Especially considering like you skill so well, right? So the slower the early game is, the kind of the better it is for you. My Zack builds, by the way, very solo queue oriented for especially geared towards like diamond and lower. The higher elo you go, the better just full tank Zack gets. Because like your team will be reliable most of the time. Um, so for the lower ranges, you're gonna go sun like CDR boots, Sunfire, Demonic, and then Thornmail and Abyssal Mask, basically. And uh, last item, you can kind of do whatever you want. Maybe pick up like a Warmox or anything of the sort. Really, it's fine. But that's the highest damage you can basically get. Like a lot of burn damage, a lot of just like reflect damage, everything of the sort. So that way, you'll be able to do the most in team fights damage wise, and that's gonna help you win more of your games in the like diamond or lower ranges in the higher ranges going way tankier is generally better because you can frontline for capable teammates if that makes sense in the lower ranges you can't really trust your teammates that much so having more damage at that point generally tends to be preferred and that's what i prefer most of the time playing tanks in uh, the elo ranges I'm gonna keep it consistent here, farm whenever I can at the moment. We still have dragon control, we want to make sure we pick up this dragon as well in a minute. We definitely want to be playing for the drake here. I'm almost level 12, which I think I'll get off mid lane here real quick. The level up, is, a level up spike is quite big, so we're just gonna push in mid right now. Push in mid, put pressure for dragon. Waves going in. I need to instantly rotate the bot lane. Back up. No, don't walk past this bush. Always walk this way because that bush could kill me. I cannot auto attack that ward. That could kill me as well. I'm just going to be playing it safe. I want to go for the dragon here. I'm going to instantly rush the dragon right now. There's still a con my control ward still here, so I don't want to misplay like place my control ward anyone else er anywhere else, sorry, apart from the dragon right now. All I care about is just the dragon there. It don't it doesn't really matter to me what fight's going to go on or what's going to like be happening or anything of the sort. I just want to get the fight the dragon. Ari 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 buddy 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 buddy. That is quite bad. Good. Was there for backup. She didn't kill the LeBlanc though. And that's kind of unfortunate for her. <laughs> LeBlanc is literally 1 HP. That's a rip. For late, like from this stage in the game, it's quite straightforward with Zach. You literally just like look for any type of engage with your E that is able to be followed up with your team at like at least a reasonable distance. And then you just CC lock them as long as possible. Try to frontline for your team as long as possible, everything of the sort. 
I'm gonna have to walk away for a bit. Should be leaving right now. I'm gonna have to go in. I'm gonna have to make sure I kind of try to front line for my team here. I'm just t trying to tank as much as I can for my teammates, really. I will, like, if my team commits to a play like that, I will go in. I will try to tank, uh, tank for them as best as I can. That's always what you should do. Try to be the front line. That's very important when playing a tank like Zack in these situations. Which any tank in general, really. I just want to leave right now. This is... Currently, that's just way too far. I already thought this play was a little, little far. Uh, but that play right there, if they actually commit to that, would be extremely far, and that's not worth it. Right, so we're gonna go Abyssal Mask first here, because they have mostly magic damage right now, like Elise, LeBlanc, Karma. So definitely Abyssal Mask first. Uh, otherwise, like if you need the armor, you can go Thornmill first. You can even go Randuins if Thornmill it doesn't end up being very good. Like if they don't have much healing, you can just opt for that. Even though Thornmill will still do reflect damage, which is still kind of why I like it in a lot of situations. Um, if random ones happens to be better for a ton of crit reduction, basically, or just good against crit damage in general, general if that makes sense, then you should go for random ones instead of Thornmill. But Abyssal Mask is basically always your magic resist item, regardless, because it just gives you so much res uh, resistance threat. I think he might be dead. Okay. We can. Oh, I'm gonna go for the Jinx here, actually. Everybody's afraid. I'm just gonna do this for now. And then just wait for my E cooldown, I think. Looks like this. Exhaust coming in as well. Like my team is doing stuff top lane right there. I really can't get the top lane because I chose to go bot side mostly. So I'm guessing I'm just gonna opt for the Jinx. It's really my only option. If my team like suicides like they did, it's kind of nothing I can really do about it. It's kind of what it is. Jinx used her uh, stuff though. Like she doesn't really have anything left. Up. Checking her jungle right now to see what I can get. Don't see her. There's a turret there as the auto attack to get her. I was uh, prepping my E. I just needed to wait for vision range to know exactly where she was standing. That's really all I needed in that situation. I can definitely tank this. I want to do this before the dragon comes up. I might as well. I should be fast enough anyway. Sunfire can come in here. My team has good damage. Like I have Kai'Sa as well for Baron damage. Sunfire damage. Zack damage is pretty high on objectives anyway. I have two smites. So we should be good here to smite this. And I'll also go for the dragon. I'm gonna use E for some distance right away. I will go first. I'll just walk in. I do not care. I'll face check everything. Got him. Instantly respond to help the team there. Pick up the dragon here and I think we should be okay here. There we go, dragon control has been secured. We're gonna check our camps now. It looks like my team is actually backing, so what I'm gonna do right here is just cut this camp real quick and then press recall. I should be able to buy my mask, I can, yeah. Time, try to time your recall at about the recall of your teammates. Ari should be backing as well. I'll get two control wards for now. How's it going? All right, next item here, I'm definitely going to go for some kind of armor item, I think. Uh, in this case, like it's just for Jinx, really. So I could technically go for a... Uh, I, I'll probably go for a random ones, to be fair. 
Thornell would be good as well, honestly. I don't necessarily need an armor item that badly, if I'm being honest. I missed. Ari is quite low on mana. Oh, that's a good that's a good one though. We are going in on this. Sorry, smoke her into that. I'm not gonna chase the LeBlanc. I'm just gonna go end the game on turrets here. Chasing LeBlanc is utterly pointless. There you go, take turret aggro. And that's pretty much it for Zach. As you can see, I played it ex as consistent as I could, really, uh, to uh, have a very no, straight up performance. Consistent farming, looking for ganks at good opportunities, and that's really it. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button below. It helps me quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.